Hey guys, welcome to part 9 of the last episode. Well, we managed to sneak into the place. Zelda told her an entire plan for everything. And now we're going to go into Kakariko Village. Ah. Uh, Kakariko Village. Hello, good sir. Ding dong, ding dong. I'm a clock soldier of Kakariko. The current time is 1721. Well, thank you. Hello there, son. Zelda's attendant, the great Impa, opened this village to the common people. We have only a small population now, but someday this place will be as lively as Hyrule Castle Town. Oh yes, it will. Climb up the stairs at the north end of the village to find the trail that leads up to this mountain. But you need the king's permission to actually go up the mountain. Ooh, a chicken. Die, chicken. Die, chicken. Die. 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 Eh? Ow! What's going on? Oh! Oh! Oh, run! Run this way! Whoa! Oh, wow, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die to chickens! Save your game. Ah, ah. I just died. Game over. That's not supposed to be that way. Would you like to save? Yes. Yes. Let's not do that again. Made me feel better. Okay. I'm the boss of the carpenters that Impa hired to improve this village and make it into a true city. But young men these days don't have any ambition. Do you know what I mean, kid? No, I'm young. My workers just run aimlessly around the village and they're not making any progress at all. Even my own son doesn't have a job and he just wanders around all day. They're all worthless, I tell you. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, there's one of the worthless sons. You're worthless. Why is that chicken? Mm -hmm. What? What would Saria say if we told her we're going to save Hyrule? She'd probably think it's awesome. Dark, narrow, scary, well of three features. This place is dark, narrow, and scary. Anything else you need to talk about? Absolutely not. There's no other qualities. Can I make it? Yeah. Such a boss. Yeah. Jump. What should I do? My cuckoos have all flown away. You little boy, please, please help me bring them back to this pen. Yeah, sure. Take this evil chicken that tried to kill me. Okay, let's see. There's one. You get back here right now. Hata. Man, I wish it was this easy to catch chickens in real life. Throw. See, in real life, you have to like get a net and a whole bunch of other irritating stuff. How am I supposed to get to that chicken? Hmm. Oh, got this chicken over there. There he is. That's the chicken that tried to kill me. So you might be wondering, what can a chicken do for me while I hold it other than create humor? Well, it does something. One thing it does is if you run and jump, you can glide. And I have a theory. I got an idea. I don't know if this is different in Master Quest than Normal Quest, but it, it's an idea, so let's just roll with it for now. You'll notice there's a chicken over there that we can't reach. Well, I think I can use this chicken to reach that chicken. Go! 
Yes! Get rid of that chicken. Look at that. It worked. How many chickens are there total, lady? I don't know. I just made up that theory on the spot right now, and it worked kind of brilliantly. Yeah! Okay. Do, do, do. How many more? My cuckoos have ran away. Please help me bring the other three back to this pen, please. Hmm. Three more, okay. There's one over there. How do I get there? Weird man. Alright. Three more. Three hams will kill him. Three hams will kill him. Brack, you must not feed him. Three hams. Twenty bagillion points. If anyone has ever heard of that song before. Maybe it's just because my dad's good parenting. Got a chicken! I need to get over there. There's two or three over there. This chicken might be able to help me to do it. There we go. Go, 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 go. Do, 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 Can't get over there until I find a way to get up there. I don't know how to get up there, so hold on. So shut up, chicken. Okay. Throw the chicken down the well. <laughs> yeah. You got two more? Chicken is peeved with me. Alright. Wow, hindsight. That's where one chicken is. The other one's up there. I might be able to throw it out. Yeah, let's do that. Give me a second. Gotta get that chicken back. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... So I'm gonna jump in, grab a chicken, throw it out on purpose. Thank you. Thank goodness it gets angry, because then you can pick it up again. Okay. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to use it to fly over the bridge. This is a great idea, really. Go, chicken! Dang it! Great, now what am I supposed to do? That was a brilliant idea, and it didn't work. Okay, um... Sorry. I had an idea. Okay. We could... Looking at my mini map, it appears that that area is completely blocked off, which is stupid. Yeah, it's completely blocked off. What, what's up here? Carry a chicken up here or go anywhere. Some butterflies. Hey, look, it's a dude. If I could get up there, maybe I could grab that chicken and jump down. Whew. Right after I did that, I was like, oh, that was a bad idea. Listen, I need to get through your house. Hi! Job where you can make a lot of money without much effort. The only thing I can think of is thievery. Is that a bad idea? Listen, you need to let me through. Oh, wow. What? I can't get the chickens unless I help them. You think that's it? I think that's it. Here's the question, though. What do they need to help them? Well, look. He's the one motivating them. So maybe we can talk to him. They're all worthless, I tell you. 
So I Fuck, let me just keep choking. That was weird. All day long, we are working on many construction projects in the village. It's going to take a while before everything is done. Our boss works us very hard. We can just figure out what they want. Then we can get that one. Get him busy. Let's go talk to him. I know what you're thinking. Did we just waste this whole time? Yeah, we did. Actually, we did. Really? So I'm thinking we should go talk to him next. Look at that poor girl over there. She works so hard taking care of her chickens, even though touching them gives her goosebumps. What a trooper. I would really like to help her. I've just been feeling so charitable these days. Don't you feel that way too? You suck! You know what? You, sir, suck. Okay? I don't like you. Oh, I just feel so charitable. Have you seen Mr. Dampe, who lives in the graveyard up ahead? It's 721 right now, so he's probably asleep in his hut. Why don't you go out onto the field and kill some time? Let's check out what's in here. Where is this magical land? Go around, go around, and around, and around. What fun. I'm so happy. A music man who loves to go around, and around, go around, and around. I'm trying to come up with a musical theme inspired by this windmill. Going around, and around, and around, and around. Hmm. Ooh, heart piece. So great, now we can't figure out a way to get through. <sighs> look, if I could, I would just say, look, look, you. I need to get through. Graveyard. Creepy, creepy. Heart pounding grave digging tour. Little kids can't go on the heart pounding grave digging tour described in the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just imitating Dampe the gravekeeper all day. With my cute face, I'm not heart pounding at all, am I? I wouldn't say you're cute, you're actually kind of freaky looking. The big one. Let's get into it. Royal family's tomb. Royal family whom? I don't remember what the song is anymore. Let's see what happens. Max, you actually didn't expect anything to happen. What have I done? The weather just got worse. Ah, what have I done? What have I done? Ooh, cool. So, on the next episode, what have I done? We're going to go down the hole and see if we can figure out more what's going on in the town and some way to motivate those people. So, see you then.